we'll go on to these other steps tonight. See how much we can do tonight. If we can finish, it'll be very nice. Not sure. We'll see how we do. Uh, here is the text. So, text 54, this is, we could describe this as confidential knowledge. Later on, we'll see there's more confidential knowledge and then the most confidential knowledge. But this is giving us what we could call confidential knowledge, knowledge about the Brahman. understanding the Brahman, what what should be the consciousness on the platform of Brahman. Joyful, doesn't the man, Pra Prabhupada writes here, this is the Brahma Buddha stage and this stage is attained very easily by the pure devotee. This is where we begin practicing devotional service. It's not the goal. And then Prabhupada explains to us fully about the nature of this Brahman. In the next sentence he said, in that stage of existence, the idea of becoming one with the Supreme Brahman and then annihilating one's individuality becomes hellish. Right? The, the, the Mayavadis, they have that idea of annihilating their individuality, but to a devotee that's how the kingdom becomes a phantasmagoria. Another, it's not attractive to a devotee. And the senses are like serpents, and teeth are broken. As there is no fear of a serpent, there is no fear from the senses when they are automatically controlled world is miserable for the materially infected person, but for a devotee, the entire world is as good as Vaikuntha or the spiritual sky. So like that we understand the position of Brahman. Then text 55 goes on to describe the glories of devotional service. One can understand me as I am, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, only by devotion or service. And when one is in full consciousness of me by such devotion, he can enter into the Kingdom of God. Uh, let's look at the Sanskrit here. Bhakta mama bijanati yavam yas chasmi tadvada Tatumam tadvato gyadva vishate tad anantaram. The word to notice here this vishate tad anantaram. That this is often misunderstood by the impersonalists, by the Mayavadis, because they're so attached to the idea of merging and entering into the oneness. So they think this verse is describing entering into the oneness. but not like that. We will see Prabhupada's purport reveals. Uh, first of all, Prabhupada's explaining, if anyone wants to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he has to take to pure devotional service under the guidance of a pure devotee. Otherwise the truth of the Supreme Personality of Godhead will always be hidden. So you have to be a devotee to understand Krishna. There's no material qualification. But to enjoy the fruits of the tree. <laughs> Very nice example. In Vrindavan we often see the green parrot. And you see the green parrots fly into the tree and it's like they disappear. But of course they're still in the tree. 
So Prabhupada's using this example to compare to the impersonalists and their desire to merge. And then Prabhupada goes on to give another example which the impersonalists often give. He says, impersonalists generally give the example of a river flowing into the ocean and merging. This may be a source of happiness for the impersonalist, but the personalist keeps his personal individuality like an aquatic in the ocean. And Prabhupada explains, we find so many living entities within the ocean if we go deep. Impersonalists are very fond of this idea, all the rivers flow into the ocean and become one with the ocean. But Prabhupada is saying there are so many living entities in the ocean, it's not that everything becomes one. The fish, they also go into the ocean to keep their individuality, so we don't accept their example. We have our own examples of keeping our individuality. So we have to understand there are different realizations of the Absolute Truth. The impersonalist, they realize only the Brahman, the impersonal feature of the Supreme. My protection reach the eternal and impartial abode by my grace. So devotee is protected by Krishna. This is an important aspect of devotional service. The devotee simply depends on Krishna for protection. Prabhupada explains in the purport, to be free from material contamination, a pure devotee acts under the direction of the Supreme Lord or his representative, the spiritual master. There is no time limitation for a pure devotee. He is always 24 hours a day, 100% engaged in activities under the direction of the Supreme Lord. To a devotee thus engaged in Krishna consciousness, the Lord is very, very kind. In spite of all difficulties, he is eventually placed in the transcendental abode or Krishna Loka. Right? Krishna Loka is above even Vaikuntha. In the spiritual realm, there are different places, different uh, levels. there. Even in the spiritual world there's like a hierarchy. Head, text 57, Lord Krishna is saying, in all activities just depend upon me and work always under my protection. In such devotional service from Krishna himself. So if we're following But Prabhupada said, one should, however, note that after doing something whimsically, whimsically, he should not offer the result to the Supreme Lord. That sort of duty is not in the devotional service of Krishna consciousness. One should act according to the order of Krishna. This is a very writes, for one who acts in Krishna consciousness, Lord Krishna becomes the most intimate friend. He always looks after his friend's comfort and he gives himself to his friend who is so devotedly engaged working 24 hours a day to please the Lord. Therefore, no one should if you do not act, 
according to my direction and do not fight, then you will be falsely directed. By your nature, you will have to be engaged in warfare. Now, Arjuna is a Kshatriya. It's his nature to fight. He cannot just simply stand by and watch others. He will get involved. Naturally, he's going to take part in the battle. So, as to what is good and what is bad, one simply has to act in Krishna consciousness to attain the perfection of life. No one can attain his destiny as the Supreme Lord can. Therefore, the best course is to take direction from the Supreme Lord and act. No one should neglect the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead or the order of the spiritual master who is representative of God. One should act unhesitatingly to execute the order. That will keep one safe under all Circumstance. Krishna, Lord Krishna continues, under illusion you are now declining to act according to my direction. But, compelled by the work born of your own nature, you will act all the same, O son of Kunti. Prabhupada comments, If one refuses to act under the direction of the Supreme Lord, then he is compelled to act by the loving service to Krishna. So Lord Krishna is emphasizing this point to Arjuna. He wants Arjuna to consider carefully. Lord Krishna goes ahead, 61. Ishvara Sarva Bhutanam Rideshi Arjuna Tishtati Brahmayam Sarva Bhutani Yantra Rudani Mayaya. An interesting verse. Uh, Lord is he's situated in his heart, O Arjuna, and is directing the wanderings of all living entities who are seated as on a machine made of the material energy. So, you see, Lord Krishna is speaking here as the Paramatma. He's situated in everyone's heart, directing the wandering super soul in the heart and seated as on a machine, the yantra, the machine made of the material energy. Right? What is that machine? That is the, huh? Who knows? We're seated as on a machine. Yes, right, that's the body. Yeah. Arjuna was not the supreme nor. His decision to fight or not to fight was confined to his limited discretion. Lord Krishna instructs individual is not all in all. There's a joke and they say, Gal Galileo called up and he said, you are not the center of the universe. <laughs> you know, Galileo, he was the one who discovered earth was not in the center of the universe. And so <laughs> Galileo gave a phone call to tell us we're not in the center of the universe. We generally think and we're directing. The super soul is in the heart directing us under the direction of the super soul. 
As soon as the living entity is placed in a particular type of body, he has to work under the spell of that body, right? And the driver is? Driver is the soul, right? Huh? Well, the soul and super soul together, two birds, they're both there. Right? You got the driver and the co-driver. <laughs> Generally, the super soul. So Similarly, by the order of the supreme soul, material nature fashions a particular type of body to a particular type of living entity so that he may work according to his desire. The living entity is not independent. So, different examples we are seeing here tonight. We saw the example the green bird entering the green tree, and here the example the, the high speed motor car goes faster than the slower car. These examples are very useful to use in an eternal abode. So, Krishna is asking Arjuna to surrender. Of course, this is building up to surrender. Some in this verse, we're hearing about guyat, confidential, and guyataram, still more confidential. Right? We have a, we have a positive, comparative, superlative. We have knowledge, confidential knowledge, more confidential knowledge, and the most confidential knowledge. So the confidential knowledge, there's different examples are given. Here in the 18th chapter, we learn that confidential knowledge means knowledge of Brahman. More confidential knowledge, it, what do you think more confidential knowledge will be? Someone know? If knowledge of Brahman is conf confidential, the yes, the Paramatma, the Super Soul, will be more confidential. And the most confidential knowledge will be? Yes, right. Thank you. But if you look earlier into uh, Bhagavad Gita, it, Prabhupada writes, Confid he, does, he, he describes there in the seventh chapter about uh, no, confident knowledge, uh, confidential knowledge, more confidential knowledge, most confidential knowledge. He's explaining about confidential knowledge to understand but not the body. Because for most people, they're thinking they're the body. But if somebody knows the right? Krishna has explained about the Paramatma. So Krishna says, deliberate on this fully and then do what you wish to do, right? Shown here, yate cha si tata kuru, that Krishna is not telling Arjuna, you have to do it. I am the Supreme Lord, you have to do what I say. He's telling Arjuna, you decide, what do you want to do? This is an important point because Krishna gives everyone and it's right here in the Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna also has free will. So we want to understand this point. Prabhupada explains, the Lord has already explained to Arjuna the knowledge of Brahmabhut. One who is in Brahmabhuta condition is joyful, never laments nor does he desire anything. Brahma Bhut, they were, we just had some knowledge, we didn't have knowledge about the super, we just had some knowledge about spirit, that we're not the body, we knew we're not the body. But here Krishna is talking not just, a, he's talk, explaining about the super soul. And then Prabhupada also talks about yatache, yatache, 
see tata grow as you like you may act indicate that god does not interfere with the little independence of the living entity so he gives us a choice by right discrimination one should agree to act according to the order of the super soul that will help one become situated constantly in krishna consciousness so krishna is giving that free will what do you what do you want to do before surrendering one is free to deliberate on this subject as far as the intelligence goes that is the best way to accept the instruction of the supreme personality of god we have to deliberate on on the, the side by our own intelligence nobody can force us to do it we have to be convinced ourselves that it's the right thing text 64 You can see Guya Tamam Buya Shunume Paramam Vacha Isto Sime Dradam Iti from me for it is for your benefit. So confidential was knowledge of Brahman, more more confidential is the super soul, and the most confidential Prabhupada says, it's to, just to surrender to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The same instruction which was given at the end of the ninth year is going to be repeated here. This essence is not understood by a common man, but by one who is actually very... Yeah, we're just having a storm, and just, it's coming into, a, you know... This is a, the season of when it's, it's a storm every evening almost. Every evening there's a big end. Right? We want to become friends with Krishna. So, the most confidential part of knowledge, Srila Prabhupada writes, become a pure devotee of Krishna. Always think of him and act for him. One should not become an official meditate meditator <laughs> should be so moldy that you always engaged in the association of krishna face this most confidential part of knowledge is spoken to arjuna because he is a dear friend of krishna everyone who follows the path of arjuna can become a dear friend of krishna and obtain the same perfection as Arjuna. Oh, very nice. All right? We just have to try, you know, we're reading it, we just have to try to do it. And then Prabhupada writes here the second paragraph about how only Krishna, don't get diverted to so many other forms. A devotee should concentrate his mind on that form that was present before Arjuna concentration of the mind on the form of Krishna and the most confidential part of knowledge. <laughs> Prabhupada really stressing here, Krishna, Krishna Bhakti, nobody else. So in 65, when explained by Krishna, knowledge of the Brahman, the super soul, different types and order, statuses of life, knowledge of the renounced order of life, knowledge of non-attachment, sense and mind control, relation. He has described in so many ways different types of religion. Now Krishna is telling Arjuna, give up all the processes that I've explained to you. Simply surrender. That surrender will save you from all sinful reactions. So we may be worried that by surrendering we get some react, sinful reaction. But Krishna is saying, no, I'm, I'm going to protect you. Krishna is here to protect the devotee. So 
we should understand what surrender means. The meaning of surrender, people often ask, what does it mean to surrender? So here is the, the relevant verse given in the purport. There are six items of surrender. First one, anukuyasya sankalpa, simply accept such, a relig such religious principles that will lead to the devotional service of the Lord. So we should accept things like hearing and chanting, and we should accept the uh, regulated principles, take Krishna Hare Krishna, back with me. Everyone there? Okay. So six items of surrender. First of all, accepting everything favorable. Huh? Can you hear me? Hare Krishna. I'm I'm sorry. Breaking. What what's wrong? Can you hear me? No, it's fine, it's fine. Yes, yes, Hare Krishna, we can hear you. You can hear me okay? Hare Krishna. No, I can hear you. I'm hearing you okay. Okay, okay, we'll go ahead. Let's go ahead. So, six items of surrender. First one. Accepting everything favorable, like hearing and chanting. Second thing, we, we should give up. Anything that does not lead to the Krishna consciousness should avoid it, right? So what should we avoid? We have to avoid meat-eating, intoxication, gambling, illicit sex, these things. We have to avoid the, the sinful activities of material life, and give these things up. Anything which is not connected to Krishna, we avoid it. Too much cinema, movies, these kind of things, no good for us. Bollywood movies, watch too many YouTube, too much YouTube. So some things you have to give up, some things you have to accept, those things which are good for Krishna consciousness you accept, and those things which are not connected to Krishna we reject. Next item, one should be confident that in all circumstances Krishna will protect him from all difficulties. Right? It's very important, only Krishna can protect us. We don't need to pray to any other demigod, any other deity for protection. We just simply take shelter of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna will protect the devotee. Krishna promises. Bhagavad Gita, right? What did it say? What's the verse? Remember? Kunti apriti janihi. You know. Hare Krishna, are you there? Yeah, Nami Bhakta, thank you. Nami Bhakta Pranashyati. Right, very good. Declare it boldly, my devotee. Someone please say which chapter. Hare Krishna, please say which chapter this verse is. Okay. 
<laughs> Very good, yeah. And then next is uh, next thing is we should understand that only Krishna can maintain us. Krishna is the protector and Krishna is also the maintainer. Ve varanam tata. Right? Prabhupada writes, no need of thinking, no need of thinking how one should keep the body and soul together. Krishna will see to that. Krishna takes care of our maintenance. We're not the doer, we simply have to surrender to Krishna. So Krishna is giving protection, Krishna is maintaining. And then two more, we should consider uh, Prabhupada says, one should always think himself helpless and should consider Krishna the only basis for his progress in life, only for his progress in life. Atma nikshepa, atman, atma nikshepa, self-surrender, means taking shelter, full shelter of Krishna. We consider ourselves to be helpless. And, and finally, karpanye, meaning we have to be very humble. That is the meaning of surrender. No need of thinking how to keep body. Krishna, one should always think himself helpless, should consider Krishna that as soon as one seriously engages himself in devotional service to the Lord, in Krishna consciousness, at once he becomes free from all contamination of material nature. Mm. There are different processes of religion, purificatory processes by cultivating knowledge, meditation. But one who surrenders unto Krishna does not have to execute so many methods. That simple surrender unto Krishna saves him from unnecessary wasting time. One all progress at once and be freed from all sinful reaction. Hmm. So generally it's important for us to know these six uh, items of surrender which are mentioned here from this verse up here, right? Anuku yasya sankalpa pratiku yasya varjanam Accepting everything favourable for devotional service and rejecting everything not favourable. Then, Rakshishyatiti Vishva Show, know that only Krishna can protect us. Gokretve Varanam Tata, only Krishna is maintaining us. Atma Nikshepa, being completely dependent on Krishna, self surrendered to Krishna and having no desire other than Krishna's desire, and karpanye, being meek and humble. So this is how we describe surrender, made up of these six principles. Text 67, Lord Krishna explains, this confidential knowledge may never be explained to those who are not austere or devoted or engaged in devotional service, nor to one who is envious of me. So Krishna has put a criterion on who is worthy, who to give this knowledge to. You 
is that if somebody's not a devotee, to tell them this confidential knowledge. 